So this week, live on stream, I hit a 20-0 on Foot Champs. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been struggling, you know, since the new patch. It's difficult to score goals. Uh, maybe your defending's not felt the same. We're going to go for one of our old school style of videos. We're going to be going into a game. If you want to see more of these, please do leave a like. We're very close to 100k. So if you could drop a sub, that'd be appreciated. And more than anything, I wanted to just catch up with you guys as well. So we're going to go into a game of rivals. I'm going to give you guys my thought process and I hope you enjoy. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so let's see what our opponent's team has to offer. Not that we normally pay too much attention, but I mean, as you'd expect, there's a couple of weird players in there actually, to be honest, but all round, you know, it's a pretty good team. I'm interested to know your guys' thoughts. Uh, can you let me know in the comment section whether you're actually still playing the game? Because I know a lot of you have really, uh, you know, decided to go away from it, which I do sort of understand. I think, you know, for me personally at the moment, it's, uh, it is tough, man. You know, in terms of creating content, uh, the foot champ service that I do run, like, obviously we're ticking along. Uh, we're still going, but it's... The game is in a really, really dry point. And I get that it's, uh, you know, there's a team of the season around the corner. Um, and that's sort of what we're waiting for, I guess. But it's tough, man. Uh, but from here, we're player locking. Looking to try and get a out wide position on the go. Um... Once we get here, we're always looking for this cutback inside. Look for the extra passes, left stick dribbling, and then we do find the back of the net. But the general premise, as you see there, is the use of getting the ball out wide, cutting the ball back, and then playing for those almost guaranteed goals after a cutback. I'm not really too sure, you know, what this uh, what this opposition is doing. <laughs> we'll see what he does. He subbed on his Valverde for Kimmich. Okay, it makes sense. Uh, offside trapping to get the line nice and high. Um, I don't know about you guys, but recently I, I've been finding foot champs extremely difficult. Um, obviously, I, I hit a 20 and 0, so you might be thinking, like, what do you mean? But just the general, you know, game to game, it, it's the hardest it's ever felt. And I think a lot of that may be down to uh, the fact that a lot of more casual players are fed up. So maybe like it's the, you know, the real sweaty guys left in the main foot champs. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. But it, there's been a noticeable change, I believe, you know, since team of the year-ish time. Obviously, I play a lot of foot champs, you know, with the service I run. Um, you know, at least three weekend leagues every week, normally more, so... Um, you know, there's been a noticeable difference anyway. But we're getting the ball out wide, edge of the box. Now, you wait for those crucial runs to be made by your AI. Sometimes they just won't be made because the attacking AI is stupid. So, you have to try and be patient. Um, here, we just got to cover these runs in behind. Uh, the priority here is to stop Anaki Williams getting in on goal. And then we prioritise the cutback. As you can see there, we step in, make the block. Nice stuff. An L1 sprint boost with Rapino just to get out there. I've been asked why I have her in my team. There's no particular reason. It was just a throw-in card that's pretty decent on the game. Oh, I'm not advocating for her. Don't, do not worry. It is, uh, it's not one of them. I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan uh, of her in general. But here, looking for those fullback switches. As you can see... It's not just about keeping the ball with those. It's actually, you know, giving us opportunities to get all the way in on goal. So just from that fullback switch, it's completely opened up his team and then got us into that position, you know, where we're able to create an easy goal scoring chance. And in general, the way you're looking to play on this game, it is very rinse and repeat. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a fan, you know, of doing that. However, it's like any video game, you know, if you actually want to win, um, you have to do what works. And if you're not bothered about winning, I get why you wouldn't do it. I really do. Because some people want to jump on and play football. But like I've spoke about before, honestly, the biggest tip I can give anybody who is looking to, you know, actually improve, maybe you're looking to become a competitive player, maybe you just want to get to the elite division. If you're serious about getting wins, you actually have to get it out of your head that this is a football game. 
you cannot be playing pretty football, you know, if you want to get results in FC24. Uh, you have to play the meta, which I am displaying on the screen at the moment as we use the second man press here. Just making sure uh, that our opponent doesn't have any easy runs in behind. As soon as we do win the ball, we're looking to just keep it. I'm using the mini-map. Uh, you see these fullback switches are going to be a common theme uh, for any high-level player. As we get the ball here again, another fullback switch. Triggering a play or lock now. Nothing really came of it. Uh, but again, you know, whether you're using a 4-3-2-1 or one of these five-back formations that have become more meta now, these fullback switches are an absolute must. And it is... It's not necessarily to be ratty and keep the ball, like I said. It's... Uh, you're actually going to create good goal-scoring opportunities. When we're 1v1 there, as you saw, you know, we had Raul up against Blanc. Uh, we're just holding Jockey. Uh, you guys have got the controller input anyway, so you can see. But just holding Jockey. And you're almost predicting where they're going to turn or angle their run in advance. So again here, you know, we're 1v1. Uh, we're always holding Jockey where possible in the box. FC24, you know, you're not going to be able to keep every chance out. Um, it's actually never been easier to score random, you know, underserved goals. Uh, like the play he just made there, not a good play. Like you do not want to be crossing the ball there because nine, nine times out of ten, uh, that play is not working. But, you know, FC24 will be FC24 and he does score the chance. So uh, this moves on to our next thing. Obviously... Uh, I try my best to not let the game frustrate me anymore. However, I know it affects a lot of you guys. So when you do score a goal, like, uh, concede a goal like that, sorry. A big part of the skill gap in this game is actually keeping your head. Mentality in FIFA or FC, arguably as important as in any other esport. Because this is a game where there is heavy RNG. You know, things can go against you. Um not go your way that are completely out of your control there's no denying that so when it does happen the very best players in the world are the very best ones at managing that whether it be recover from a situation you know maybe you're put under pressure where you shouldn't because you know your player may have taken a heavy touch randomly uh, you may have missed a chance that you shouldn't and you've got a rebound opportunity but whatever it may be the very best players in the world they find ways to deal with this stuff and turn games into their favour. Uh, we tried to round the keeper there. It didn't quite work out. I probably should have just shot. But that is half-time. We are in complete control. Um, as you would expect, I guess. You know, we started the game well. Scored a couple of goals early. This guy, you know, he's probably lost his head as well. But um, we're in a good position. So we're going to carry on um, in the exact same fashion as when we started the game and see what we can do i'll join you guys for the second half okay so we are kicking off for the second half now and when you're in this position you know foot champs a couple of goals up half time it's really about just game management and i can't stress it enough you know people will call it ratty or whatever but it's like i said earlier you actually want to win there's no time on this game to make friends you know the, the way it's designed it, it really is a win at all cost and the cost is you are not playing nice pretty football you have got to play fc24 football big big difference so whether it be using the fullback switch you know to keep the ball and bore your opponent to death you know we're not going to do that here because this is a chill game of rivals but you know that is an option for a lot of people this guy's ran his keeper out which was a horrendous decision he made our decision for us there. We actually had a much more difficult opportunity if he didn't run the keeper out. But once again, we're using that offside trap to raise our line super high. And it's going to limit the space in the middle and make it very difficult for your opponent to build up. Um, the thing with the offside trap, you know, if you're a lower level player using it, it's even more in your benefit. Because the people you're playing against for the most part, they're not going to be good enough to actually deal with the fact that you're offside trapping and what i mean by that is higher level players even though it's difficult for them to deal with you know maybe they can play their way out of it whereas you know if you're doing it to stop the build-up of a lower level player they've got absolutely no chance so we're going to go for a german cross here it is going to work perfectly 
awful touch by Beckham, and that can happen. You know, we've picked out a really, really good high-level German cross there, and we just got rigged by the game, which, you know, like I say, it does happen. Uh, we find the through ball. Going to take our time there. Or oh, we rounded the keeper, but apparently we were offside. But again, offside traps, and yeah... So a lower level player, they're simply not going to have, you know, the fundamentals in the attack, the quick reactions, all that stuff to actually be able to play their way out. You know, you can't build up through the middle if someone's offside trapping because uh, the space is just too congested. Uh, we find the over the top through ball there. We're going to wait. Green time up. No, nope. <laughs> we, we read our shot. See, it can happen to anyone. We're not all, we're not all perfect. Awful, awful. Um, the correct decision for me there would have been either to green time it, as we should have. Or simply go a bit closer and wait for the keeper to come out and go round him. But uh, we messed that up really badly. But again, here, you know, we're sending our fullbacks on runs. Uh, finding those fullback switches. And I don't know about you guys. I don't find this the worst style in the world. Like, I get it's not... It's not authentic football, but at least, you know, we are overlapping and attacking. We're not just parking five players and, you know, Mourinho ball into 1-0 wins. It's it's not like that. It is a pretty attacking meta, uh, but at the same time, you know, it is very defensively solid. But you can see that every time we win the ball back, this opponent's already sick of it because we win the ball back and the priority is always to not give it back and that is one of the things that is going to wind people up the most because especially at a lower level you get used to playing these ping pong games of fc you know where you're giving the ball back to each other it's end to end maybe it's more fun we're absolutely killing that off you win the ball back and the priority is keep the ball um and then your opponent knows that every time you win the ball back, or in their case, they lose the ball, it's going to be a real effort, you know, for them to even see the ball again. And that makes their environment a lot worse, which, you know, if you're their opponent, that works in your favour, of course. So, again here, we're going to attempt to win the ball back. When we do that, you know, we recycle, take our time, and it's a long day, you know, for the opponent. It's simple fundamentals. You know, it's it's actually some principles of football. You know, you're winning the ball back. First rule, you know, do not give it straight back. Make every possession count. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not trying to compare this to real football because it is anything but. But take our time here. R1 dribbling. Look for that cutback position. Delay it as long as possible. And then, of course, we do find the cutback and the back of the net and that is an absolute trademark fc 24 goal uh, this opponent's well and truly lost his head now left stick dribbling find the back of the net again uh, you can see there we did make use of the player lock and this is a you know a high uh, division rivals game this opponent is not bad at all but if you apply uh, this play style you know these fundamentals of the current meta you really are gonna you're going to get a lot more wins. And I see people comment, you know, on my gameplays when I do these videos about how my opponents are bad. My opponents are not bad. You know, I'm playing some very decent players. But, uh, of course, you know, I did used to play the game professionally. Maybe people are being made to look worse than they are. But, honestly, it's it's probably one of the easier games where you guys can grind, you know, the competitive system and actually get a good rank just by applying the right play style and fundamentals because I definitely wouldn't say that FC has got the highest skill gap in the world. Uh, you just need to know what you're doing and apply it. You don't need to do anything crazy, you know, fancy skill moves, things like that. You can see I'm using literally none, to be honest. Just very simple football play style and uh, using the right things at the right time. But guys, we're going to wrap it up. This game is absolutely done. If you are new, I would appreciate uh, if you subbed. I will help you improve at the game for free, which is going to be very important, you know, with team of the season coming round. So if you enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one and peace.